Good morning, my name is Dirk Hebel. I'm Professor for Sustainable Construction here at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, where I'm sitting right now. Urban mining is part of a bigger question, and that is the idea of a circular economy. Whatever we construct is not meant as a linear process of taking, making, and then removing, burning, or <laughs> landfilling. But we can take all of these materials and elements out of our built environment and make sure that we can turn them back into a circular idea. So urban mining can only be a stage towards our path to a real circular economy. The idea of a circular economy leads to a material storage in our built environment. We closed our eyes too long on this issue. We were happy to build, but nobody, even in my education time, asked the question, what happens after the lifespan of these buildings? We need to reinvent almost every detail of our constructing ideology to rethink the construction system that we are based in. There is an incredible chance to think in these new economic terms. That means that we have to give up more or less all the construction methods that we established over the last 200 years. There are three things that we could do immediately. Number one is architects and engineers need, before they get the building permit, to turn in a disassembly map. That means we should not only think about the construction, but we should also be forced to think about the destruction of these materials and elements. Number two, we need regulations from the political side. We should tax the virgin materials much higher to make sure that these recycled materials have an economical advantage. Number three, we need also a political regulation that we cannot use any more construction methods that prevent the idea of a circular economy. Next to this idea of urban mining, we need information about materials, big data banks, where this information is stored so that we know for sure what is in these materials, in which amount, in which quality. Therefore, we need new instruments, a material passport and a construction passport. We are lacking an acknowledgement of the problem. As long as we can make money in the old system, that will not change. We try here as researchers and as teachers to show that there are alternatives already available. If you want that a policy is changing, you need first to demonstrate that the technical means are in place to do so. Our role as practitioners, but mostly as university professors and researchers, is to roll out that path. When we did this project together with Werner Sobeck and Felix Heisel at the Nest Building in Dübendorf, the Urban Mining and Recycling Unit, the idea was from the very beginning to prove that we are able to construct already today a true circular construction. And that meant in the very beginning that we have to give up everything that we love so far in construction. It was a fantastic moment because we started to rethink architecture, to rethink constructions. Today, you can buy products from these companies based on this endeavor. All of a sudden, these companies realize that is big. This is society that is asking these questions. And why not supplying then products for this demand? We have to get the priority right. And so far, the priorities are set wrongly. Discussing effects, but not discussing the source. We have to move much faster. It is too slow, too much debate on unnecessary symptoms, not enough debate on the necessary changes. We are trying to protect our old economic system because we are afraid of change. If we wait too long with this fear, there is no tomorrow. Therefore, for me, it is clear that we only have one chance, and that is to change immediately with all consequences that we have.